In this video, we are going to discuss about Pygame and Pygame is a Python library to develop games. Before starting with Pygame, we need to install the particular Pygame so that we can implement further programs with the help of packages in it. So for installing the particular package Pygame, we have to write pip install. So here you can see that installation is done, collecting Pygame and then installing collected package and successfully install the package that means package is install if you want to write this command in the shell python i shell you can do that here also there will be same package will be installed now next getting started with pygame as we know to play any game we first need a window so we will create a window in pygame first so for that we have to firstly write import pygame next we have to write pygame dot init now what will this pygame dot init do it will initialize all modules of the pygame pygame dot init next we have to set a name of window that is what will be there in the window talk what will be written for that we use the caption and we write like this pygame dot display dot set caption and here you can set the caption for example I am setting the caption as pygame window Next, we have to create a window also. This is what we have set the name of the window. Now for creating the name, for creating the window, we have to write window equals to pygame dot display dot set mode. And here you can set the dimensions of the particular window. For example, 400 and 600 I am using as dimension. So this particular set mode is a function which is used to create a window. Next we are going to execute a loop. Now the loop is placed to stop our windows on the screen. If we do not have the loop, our window will be created and will not stop. Window will keep on create and it will not stop. So that's why we execute a loop. So firstly what we do, we here mark it as false. And next we execute a loop to control our window. So while done, while not done, for event in pygame, dot event, dot get now here we have executed another loop that is the for loop for the event dot get that means if any event is occurred so inside the event we handle all the action we handle all the actions that occur above the window and next what we are going to do we are going to write a message that if event dot type is equals to equals to pygame dot quit so that means we close the window then becomes true that means our window will be closed so now let us write that also if event dot type is equals to equals to pygame dot quit then done becomes true Next, you have to keep in mind about the indentation or else you will get an indentation error. Pygame.display.flip Now, what this pygame.display.flip does? 
it is actually used as it allows only a portion of the screen to be updated instead of the entire area so we are not doing the updation in the entire area that's why we use the flip as it allows to update only a portion of the screen that is done and next we are going to quit the pi game so for that we will write pi game dot quit So this is the complete code and as I execute this particular code here you can see a window is generated the caption which we have given that is pi game window and this is the dimension which we have given according to that a blank window is generated now for adding more functionality to it we will look into upcoming videos.